what's up everybody? Weston here with, yes, another pair of shoes. But this pair of shoes is very special to me. One, because it is my big purchase of 2019. Every year I find there's always more than a few shoes that, you know, slip right out of your fingertips and the resale value skyrockets to the point where you're not gonna pay those prices, at least not for everyone that you miss. So what I've decided to do for those shoes that I really, really, really want, I decided to save up for them. So either putting money aside, more specifically in this case, actually selling off some of my collection to fund a big hype purchase or a big purchase for the year. First time I did this was for the chocolate 750s. At the time, I didn't really like that I made that big of a purchase. However, I still have the shoes and I try to wear them as often as I can. And it's more so a shoe that I'm going to hold on to for a longer period of time rather than just a buy and flip. For this pair right here, some of you may know what it is, some of you may not. But if you do know what it is, you know what the resale, the going rate for this is. And without further ado, let's open them up and see what they look like. Here we have the Air Fear of God 1 in the black and sale colorway. This released back in December of 2018 for a retail price of $350. And I have received mine courtesy of StockX for not $350. Each sneaker comes individually wrapped in this space packaging that resembles the wrapping that electronics can be found in when packing and shipping. Inside the box you get a tote bag, four air laces, two sets of lace locks, and a hang tag to go along with the shoe. Featuring a ballistic mesh and premium new book suede throughout the toe, topped with a unique engineered lacing system specifically for this shoe. The sneaker also features a double stacked zoom air unit and has a zippered enclosure for ease of entry. So this shoe was designed by Jerry Lorenzo, and if you haven't seen my Air Skyline 2 video of the Fear of God collection, then you may not know who he is. But even if you have, let me reiterate. Jerry Lorenzo, fashion designer, who's kind of revolutionized streetwear in recent years with his brand Fear of God. Now Fear of God is a luxury streetwear brand that has taken the world by storm after his association with Kanye West and his background in the club scene in Los Angeles where he made a name for himself. And one of my personal favorite details is the serial number on the side of the shoe that is actually a tribute to his grandfather's military service. So I really wanted this shoe because I'm a huge fan of collaborations and if you've watched some of my videos in the past, I normally try to highlight some of my favorite collaborations that I pick up. And when I learned about this one, it kind of stuck out, especially with the hype of, you know, Virgil Abloh doing this thing with the off-white, the 10 collection at the time, and bringing the connection from luxury streetwear to basketball and stepping in the footsteps of Kanye West and how he had his collaboration with the Air Easy 1 and the Air Easy 2, that kind of basketball sneaker that has been a, a staple ever since the mid 80s and throughout the 90s, it's grown and now it's more into the mainstream and it's gotten to the point where it's just so big that when you have the opportunity to make a collaboration with a big brand such as Nike, a lot of people's ears are going to perk up and that's what happened to me. So Jerry Lorenzo, who has done this thing with PacSun and his Essentials departure from his official Fear of God brand, it kind of drew my attention because I like the more cost effective, I guess, Fear of God Essentials versus the extremely expensive Fear of God brand as a whole, but I see the attention to detail he takes in both of them. 
And that was one of the things that I was like, I knew that this shoe, whatever it was before I even saw it, was going to have some crazy amount of details and it was gonna pick very premium materials. And so once the shoe started rolling out and I started looking at the shoe, one, just the whole design just had me in awe. Like this sneaker boot, very reminiscent of Kanye's influence, but done in a different way. And when you watch interviews of how he talks about the shoe and how he talks about the collaboration, like how he's always been a fan of Nike and it's kind of like his dream to be there, which very reminiscent of my dream. I would love to have a collaboration with Nike. I'm not saying I'm anywhere near the level of Jerry Lorenzo yet, but my clothing brand was born out of streetwear with the influences of Bape and Ice Cream and BBC, et cetera, et cetera. So overall, the reason why I wanted a pair of these was because it was the first of the collaboration that he ever had with Nike and my personal ties being able to witness a dream fulfilled. Now after doing more research into Jerry Lorenzo, because I didn't know too much about his background at the time, but after doing a little bit of research, I found out that he's actually played baseball for FAMU, which is my alma mater, which is one connection. And then, of course, his tribute to his grandfather's military service, me being an active duty naval officer, just kind of solidified that connection even more and made me really want to have my hands on a pair. So I did what I had to do to get a pair. In my situation, I had a lot of shoes that I wasn't wearing anymore out of my collection and I decided to put those up on GOAT and StockX and be able to turn those sitting shoes into money that I could reinvest in a new pair of shoes that I really wanted that was a little bit more than I'm normally willing to pay. And voila. With that being said, let's see what they look like on foot. I think the shoe as a whole looks fantastic on foot. I remember having a debate with my brother which pair looked better, the black or the light bone out of the OG colorways. He sided with the light bone because he feels like it stands out and it doesn't blend in with black jeans or black pants. Uh, personally, I kind of like the way they look with the tech fleece black sweatpants from Nike. Not necessarily a pair of pants that I'm gonna wear with the shoe all the time, but I do like the the hang of the cuff on those pants with these, which is very similar to tapered denim that you could wear with these as well. I got the message by now. I am overall very pleased with my purchase. Definitely glad I got my hands on a pair of these. Definitely going to try to get another pair, specifically the FAMU colorways, which I'm kind of watching the prices to see if I need to sell off some more shoes, but I really do want another pair of these because this is a pivotal moment in sneaker history. I'm not gonna go as far as say it's like the introduction of the Jordan 1, but that bridge, bridging the gap between luxury street culture and basketball culture, which have already been connected and making a staple shoe to find that gap is definitely a sneaker I had to have in the collection. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, ring the bell, all that good stuff to stay posted on any time I drop a new video. Also, if you like the shirt, this shirt is available now on pixel-apparel.com. So, you know, show some love, you know, grab you a shirt. I hand dyed these myself. The logo is still reflective from the white and reflective tees that I had available earlier. So these are very limited. Head on over to pixel-apparel.com and check it out. I got new designs coming soon. So stay tuned, follow the Instagram, the links down below, all that good stuff. And I'll see you all next time. Peace.